Hi guys, it's Angel from Angel Sky TV. Today's your weekly medicine tarot reading for the week of October 22nd. So wherever you are at home, just close your eyes. I'm going to call in the guides from all directions of time and space. I'm going to ask that this reading be for the highest good of everyone that tunes in today. If you have any questions at all, um, they will be answered during this video. So stay tuned right till the end. The first thing the guides are telling me is if you are able to tune in to um, uh, your rock mineral, your specific rock mineral, they want you to do a meditation at home um, for the next, they're saying the next 28 days. Um, so that your rock mineral will be revealed to you. This is something you can do on your own. You, if you find after 28 days, no message has come to you, nothing, no signs, nothing, don't, um, don't worry. You know, there's, uh, sometimes things take a little bit longer than, you know, we anticipate, but the guides are asking you to specifically just spend about five to 10 minutes of deep breathing each day and ask for your rock mineral or your um, stone guide, crystal guide, to come forward. You might start to see your stone guide, crystal guide, whatever you want to call it, um, in your waking life. You might dream about this stone. It will occur within the next 28-day cycle starting on the 22nd of October. So just count 28 days. This video might be posted a couple days late. That's okay. You can start your 28-day cycle from that point on. Again, they just want you to breathe deeply um, for five to ten minutes. Guys, you're already breathing, so this is not complicated. Um, it literally is you just breathing a little bit deeper into your belly, expanding the belly in all directions on the inhalation. And when you exhale, gently pull the belly button towards the spine, just to kind of really get all the toxins out of your body on the exhalation. So inhalation, you're going to breathe in, you're going to expand the belly. You can imagine a balloon blowing up in the belly. And then exhale, gently pulling the belly button in. Um, you can also, if you, if you really want to get a deeper breath, from there you can go to the chest and breathe deeply into the chest. Um, two to three breaths. And what you're going to want to do, again, uh, just like there's a balloon in your chest, you're going to blow up the chest. And then from there, <clears throat> after your three to five breaths of blowing up your chest, first you start with your stomach, three to five breaths, three to five breaths of chest, then you're gonna combine it. So you're gonna breathe into the belly, then the chest. So it's one breath into the belly, then the chest. So you're gonna feel literally like you're blowing up. Exhale the belly, exhale the chest. This is called a full yogic breath. It's super awesome for bringing high prana into the body and just really rejuvenating and bringing life force into your vital organs, which are obviously important. Um, so doing this for five to 10 minutes for the next 28 days from whatever date you start watching this video. And within that time frame, you should start to see signs of what your crystal guide or your crystal ally is what I like to call it. Um, is trying to um, communicate with you. So somebody might give you a stone gift, you might walk into a store and see the same stone everywhere. Um, I don't know what it is for you. You'll have your own special message. I would like you to post underneath um, anything that comes up just to kind of get an inspirational um, post thing happening on, underneath, my, underneath this video. So for this week, October 22nd, Let's just see what else the guides have for us. All right. So let's see. We have so some indecision holding you back beginning of the week. Um, <clears throat> and this is in terms of career. They're just saying, you know, you do feel trapped. You're not feeling like things are moving in the direction you want. And they're also saying you're not utilizing your network as well as you could. Um, they're saying that you have to make choices that are best for you um, and not so much best for everyone else around you. I think for the most part, most of the people that are tuning in are really looking uh, 
to help and get some guidance for themselves, but for the purpose of helping in the world. That tends to be uh, the type of people that are in my circle. So I'm just going to make that assumption that the people tuning in, that's why you're tuning in. You're hoping to get guidance so that you can further your career in a, in the, in a way that will help others. So sometimes, you know, putting others first constantly is out, it's completely out of balance because you can't give what you don't have. So you do have to um, put yourself first, and the guides are saying, because you're trying to please other people way too much. Middle of the week, um, the guides are talking about believing in yourself, that there are wonderful people around you. you got to stop looking at the people that are not so wonderful, okay, because that is a distraction and it's also not very... Um, it's not a good way to make yourself feel good. If you focus on the assholes around you, you're actually going to feel like your life is full of unsupportive people that don't want to help you. But if you start to notice every person that helps you in whatever way, it can be a small way, um, maybe they give you a little bit of information that leads you to something better in your life. That is a helper in your life. They might not be a part of your life every day, but they're still helping you. So you have to acknowledge that the universe is putting people in your path that help you all the time. If you don't think like that, then you're not going to notice these things. It's not that they're not there, it's that you have to change your perspective a tiny bit. Just shift your perspective and start to see what is already around you. Because the universe does not just help certain people. It's not, um, you know, it's not racist. You know, it helps everyone. Um, but you do have to tune in and start to see that. Otherwise, if you start to see that there's lack, then that's what you're going to keep producing. End of the week, talking about the high priestess. So learning to trust your intuition. This is coming up closer to the end of the week. Um, they're saying, you know, insights that come through meditation, which I already talked about um, before the cards were laid. You know, doing um, some meditation might not only reveal your crystal ally, but also some other insights. So this is an important practice to do. Your five to ten deep breaths, the yogic breath, work up to get to the yogic breath, and then just sit quietly, return to normal breathing, and just notice if anything comes up, any messages, any feelings, you know, just allow yourself at least 10 to 20 minutes a day that you can just, you know, breathe consciously with awareness. This is so important to having a really good life. We don't realize the power of the breath. It is literally the divine's gift to us. Our animal, the animal kingdom understands it. They utilize it. But humans, we've kind of disassociated ourselves with how powerful the breath is. And I know I've said this many, many times before for the new people tuning in, you know, I'm a strong believer. I'm a yoga teacher. I'm a strong believer that the breath is our power, literally our power in life. And it helps us to process emotions. It helps us to get through um, any difficulties, if you just remember the breath is in charge and can take charge of any feelings you have. For example, for, before I go today, for example, if you're feeling anxious all the time, you'll probably notice that your breath is really shallow. And when you feel really happy or just relaxed, you have a really deep breath, a yogic breath, the one I just taught you at the beginning of the video. So think about that for a minute, what you could do if you were feeling anxious. If you breathe like you were happy during those moments, and this is what my guru taught me, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, if you breathe like you're happy when you're actually anxious, you change the physiology of your brain chemistry. And literally it sends signals to your whole body that you're happy just because you chose to breathe like you were happy. You might have a shit show going on around you, but you're breathing like you're happy. That long, deep breath, okay? You're breathing like you're happy, even though you're freaking out. You don't know what's going to happen in your future. You don't know how you're going to pay your bills. You don't know how you're going to find your partner. You don't know, you know, all the stress. Even though you've got all the stress going on, breathe like you're happy. And I promise you, if you do it with awareness and intention and with a devotion to yourself that it is 
100% your responsibility to be happy in your life, you will notice massive changes. I promise you that. I will see you back here next year and take care next year. I'll see you back here next week, hopefully. Take care.